Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and this is another episode of, this is the first episode of Thomas Was Alone. And I've heard about this game, I've, I, I've played it before, and uh, so yeah, this is Thomas Was Alone, I started with a new game. No, I had to like start all over again and all that stuff, and like, so yeah, this program was failure or whatever. Was alone. Wow, a weird first thought to have. Yep, that's uh, Brit Britain narrator. It sounds like the time is narrated at me. George Thomas Carlton decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One. Sounds the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Okay. <laughs> this is like the most weirdest game ever. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Something okay. to. What's the word? Jump. I am jumping. It worked! Thomas. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. This shadow. The world didn't want him to fail here, it was pushing him. But gently. <clears throat> <laughs> this all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Sounds like George Carlton or Thomas wondered yeah, like whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might might not be important. I'm going through this kind of quick, so yeah. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his friends. <sighs> okay. It had <laughs> been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Ah! Mm. Mm. Jump! Jump! Yes! Jump! 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 Oh, on the 11th, on the 11th I'm getting out of school. Of June. Well, that was easy. The dirt. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. He made another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. What the heck? The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Where is all these shaders coming from? Mm. <laughs> Jeez. Thomas had a new theory. <laughs> the world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Yep. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh. Poor Thomas.
yeah. Chris took an immediate and dislike to his skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? <laughs> That's funny. I must obviously not watch the whole part. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually, not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. It's funny. There. Ah. This game has trolled me. Right, oh, dang it. Chris! That sounds weird. could get to it which of course made it all the more enticing what would it do what new opportunity might this switch open up to him grace grace another chance for thomas to jump slightly higher than chris how fortunate seriously this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile Okay, I think I'm supposed to do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. This is... It's all about teamwork. Ah! And that's about it, guys. And I am going to return to main menu. And exit. And that's about it.